Lankan side playing their very first test in England. A Colombo jeweller, Siddharth Wetamuni, made an unbeaten hundred as Sri Lanka ran up 226 to 3 on the first day of the Cornhill Test at Lords. The day began with a protest. Before the first ball was bowled, demonstrators ran onto the pitch to protest about what they claimed to be the genocide of the Tamil minority in Sri Lanka. When a second invasion took place after lunch, members in the pavilion were more concerned about the wicket when a steward dragged a demonstrator across it. The Sri Lankan batsmen weren't put off at all. They relished the chance of laying into some indifferent bowling from Botham. Though when he chose to bowl at the wicket, he was more successful. De Silva, LBW for eight. Ellison, too, aimed at the target and hit it. Madugale's off stump went after he made five. The stabilizing partnership between Dias and Vetimani was broken when Lamb took a low catch to dismiss Dias, but the pair had added more than a hundred runs. Vetimani stayed in to compile an exemplary innings with a series of well-timed strokes, punishing loose deliveries with confidence. To the increasing frustration of Botham and England, Vetimani reached his century. He'd achieved it with a style that obliges Sri Lankan cricket to be taken more seriously at test level. He was more than ably supported by Ranatunga, who also impressed with some superb cover drives. Alat was the bowler he punished to pass his 50, which helped to compile a score of 226 for three when bad light stopped play. The total gives Sri Lanka much to be satisfied with at the end of the first day of their first test in England. Ian Edwards, ITN Sport. At test in England. Ian Edwards, ITN Sport. At